Well, I know you were looking forward to the Salido fight. Uh, were you disappointed when you heard that, uh, you know, he injured his, his finger and the fight didn't come off? Uh, yeah, we, we were disappointed. Um, we were looking forward to fighting Salido. Um, I've been looking forward to, to fighting, you know, fighting him, fighting for a world title. I've been looking for a world title shot. Yeah, um, the Caballero fight didn't, didn't come through. As it was planned earlier. A few months back, and we started talking about Salido's fight, and that seemed to be going well until, you know, late last week, uh, we heard that you might be pulling out due to an injury, so, you know, it definitely upset me a little, you know, that it hasn't, hasn't happened, you know, we've been waiting for a lot of time, it just hasn't happened, one thing or another, and it just hasn't happened, so we are a little disappointed, but, you know, I understand, like I always say, you know, I understand boxing, you know, and things like this always happen, so, okay. all right, I guess. We just gotta move forward, you know. And are you still gonna fight November tenth against a different opponent? We don't know. Um, I'm still training, you know, and just in case they tell me I am gonna fight, but as of right now, we ain't got no opponent yet. Um, there's a few names that HBO turned down, so we don't know who they might, you know, approve. Mm -hmm. um, so we we don't know. We might have to just wait until Salido is, is ready and. You know, are recuperated and ready, you know, to to fight. So we just have to wait and see. Okay. Um, do you know what names that they did turn down, or just were they random names? Um, I'm not sure exactly. Um, or well, Cameron's the one that handles all that. My manager, Cameron's the one that handles all okay. all that. And uh, the more top rank, they they talked to HBO, you know, regarding you know, a possible opponent for me, but. Okay, and were you gonna be in town to watch uh, your stablemates no, or Nonito Donaire and Brandon Rios in their fights with against Nishioka and Alvarado? Yeah, we we will. Um, we, we were planning on going down, uh, you know, for the fight anyway. So we'll, we'll definitely be there. Um, to support you know all the fighters that our brother has on the show, especially like said Brandon and Donaire. Um, we'll be definitely be there. What do you think of their fights? Well, Brandon's got a tough fight with Alvarado. Alvarado's a strong, solid fighter, very, very tough and resilient. Um, however, I think Brandon's strength and size will help him, being that he's not going to have to beat himself down too much to make the 135 limit like he was trying to make in the past couple fights. This time, I think he'll have better time, better, you know, making weight, you know, and that'll help him recover and show his strength in the ring. Alvarado has always been the type of a part, but, you know, I think Brandon has the experience to beat Alvarado. Okay. With, uh, yeah, with, with Donaire, I haven't seen much of Nishioka, but uh, from what I've heard, you know, he's a very, very good fighter. Hasn't lost a fight in, you know, well over like five years or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. So, you know, he's got to be a type of opponent. You know, he's not world champion for a reason. Um, I, I have, you know, I have a, you know, you know Donaire, I have Dayton Donaire, you know, he's, you know, extremely talented and extremely capable of, of uh, you know, winning and, 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 you know, just making, making a easy fight, you know, no matter who he fights, he makes it look easy. So, we, we have Dayton Donaire.